Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh uh, Double honest, once again, go out to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone, who continue through the Holy Spirit, uh, to give us His truth. Second, to be out there on the highways and byways themselves, as they have been for at least the last three decades, uh, going into... You know, Isaiah 30 and 20 about our teachers not being in a corner, and they never have been. Salutations to the fellow occupants out there on the highways and byways. All right, uh, again, teaching this truth with all honesty and sincerity, trying to wake up the remaining, hopefully, leg. All right, this is Nama with the DC camp. And, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, it's kind of funny. And this is going to be on Queen Elizabeth II. Um, some people pretend, and those some people I'm talking about are of the Caucasian persuasion, the nation of Edom. They kind of get <laughs> uh, I don't know, their panties in a twist, so to speak. Uh, after hearing the reactions of those that these bastards and their family uh, throughout its history and we're not talking about something from that long ago as people of this sort well that was you know long ago in the past what did it have to do to well since this biatch was alive she participated in certain activities that tried to uh, uh, hinder those same people that were under her nation's rule she tried to keep them from gathering their you know, so-called freedom alright who knows what's in those charters <laughs> uh, I certainly haven't read it that's why I'm saying that for those uh, people like you know if you just uh well, I'm thinking that, well, that's Belgium. But all those colonial powers, I was thinking of Patrice Lumumba, <clears throat> came to mind, but incidents like that. And they just recently, as if in mockery, I'm talking about Belgium now, uh, but in some way all these motherfuckers seem to be related. But in any case, earlier this year there was a story, I don't know if I did a video on it, and I, yes I did, yes I did. That's how I found it out. These motherfuckers had the audacity to return the only thing supposedly left of Lumumba's body, a tooth. Because at the behest of Dwight D. Eisenhower and his CIA and those involved, in, uh, um, along with those from the Belgian government, who knows who else uh, he was assassinated and his body uh, they tried to do away with him in acid you know dumping his body in, in, in acid that was confirmed there is no lie these this is the dirt that these motherfuckers did a lot of things from the let me rephrase that I think, I think you would be appalled at the things that you would find out these so-called uh, white people, these Edomites, did between, let's just use the Civil War, the American Civil War as a uh, baseline. From that time on, the things, the atrocities they committed all right, and trying to get this world to where it is now, which is, it's fucked up, all right, but they had to uh, assure that they would rise to the level of power that they are now. They run everything, you know, so let's get into this just to give you a little backdrop. Uh, this family in and of itself is a fraud, these so-called royals. 
Anyway, it says Black Twitter reacts to Queen Elizabeth II's death and doesn't bite its tongue. And why should it? Again, you've got to understand you're coming from people's perspective that have been shit on for centuries. All right, and if you don't understand that, fuck you. All right, this isn't for you anyway. Hell yeah, people are going to jump up and shout, you know. But at the same time, you got to realize we're not out of the woods yet, all right. These incest babies and the like are still in rulership. And it starts off, this is by Spencer Jones, travelnoir.com. It says, long live the queen, not on black Twitter's watch. It said that one should show respect for the dead, but some would argue it depends on who died and what they did in life, which is true. Not even 24 hours since the news of Queen Elizabeth II's death broke out. So-called black Twitter didn't exactly mourn. It shrugged and then did what it's known for, clapping back with a vengeance. Some users highlighted their indifference. Others resorted to comedy, and a few pointed out that the Queen's connection to colonialism across the Caribbean and Africa. Makuma Wa... I don't know the last name. Pulled no punches writing. If the Queen had apologized for slavery, and that's something else Jake have to get, you know, so fucking what if they apologize? What's an apology? But he goes on further. I, you know, have to respect this. He says colonialism and neo-colonialism and urged the crown to offer reparations for the millions of lives taken in her their names and then that brings to for another question what is true reparations and I don't want your fucking money that's not reparations no you have to first of all you have to understand reparations in and of itself it means to restore to restore what all right is that within their power no all right but we always respond say no we want biblical reparations and this is what we mean all right this is what we mean by biblical reparations and it's not going to mean anything oh why did i do that unless this is what happens uh this is revelations uh, chapter 13 verse 9 it says if any man have an ear let him hear alright not only do you listen but do you understand can you receive this he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword here is the patience and the faith of the saints and the saints are Israelites and Israelites only not those that of the Caucasian persuasion or the nation of Edom that are pretending. And when you understand the war that's been going on between these two nations, Edom, descendants of Jacob's brother Esau, and Esau in Genesis 27 verse 41 swore to kill Jacob his brother and has been trying to ever since. Uh, that's Genesis 27. Um, and then you got to go back two chapters earlier in 25 to the very beginning. All right. And how Esau sold his birthright. It wasn't stolen. It was sold. All right. And then when you understand that, you can understand the connection to that story and the story in Genesis 4th chapter with Cain and Abel. It's the same thing that's been going on ever since the beginning. All right, and as in every story where you have a <laughs> uh, uh, protagonist, you have an, uh, you know, good guy and a bad guy. All right, and that's just the way this is, this is uh, set up. It tells you that in the scriptures. All right, a lot of people just do not understand. All right, so let's go to, let me see, oh, why did I leave? The protagonist and antagonist, all right. Let's see, let's go to, uh, here we are, Sirach, 33rd chapter.
It will start around, let's say, 10. It says, And all men are from the ground, and Adam was created of the earth. And much knowledge the Most High hath divided them, and made their ways diverse. Some of them hath he blessed and exalted, and some of them he sanctified, and set near himself. But some of them hath he cursed and brought low, and turned out of their places. As the clay is in the potter's hand, and who is the potter? That's the Most High. To fashion it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him, to render to them as liketh him best. Good is set against evil, and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the godly. So look upon all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two, one against another. That's the way this is set up. You're always going to have the good with the bad, righteousness and wickedness, respectively. All right, life, death. Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, goes into that. All right. So let's go ahead and finish this. And he says, uh, "Now, now that's how I said for him to." Uh, he said, "This first one I read as a Kenyan, I feel nothing. This theater is absurd, and it is all theater." To which one person quipped, "You feel nothing. I feel great." Another user co-signed on the colonialism point. Shakia posted a reminder that Queen Elizabeth is not a remnant of colonial times. She was an active participant in colonialism, as I stated at the uh, beginning. She actively tried to stop independence movements, and she tried to keep newly independent colonies from leaving the Commonwealth. The evil she did was enough. Some speculated how Meghan Markle and Princess Diana might respond. Big Daddy Dre posted a picture of a young black man sleeping next to freshly laid out clothes. The caption reads, Prince Charles tonight, which poked fun at him preparing for his eventual coronation. There's also this... <laughs> There's also this image and caption showing an old woman trying to scale a gate. It reads, Diana, open up these pearly gates right now. All right. <laughs> and then you see right there. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Stewart tweeted an excerpt from an article by uh, whoever that is. It says, a historically wild day on the Internet transpired after the death of Queen Elizabeth II. White Twitter and black Twitter rubbed shoulders. Irish Twitter rallied, then went to the pub. One woman in another section of Twitter wrote, My sister lives in Northern Ireland and just texted saying the neighborhood has started lighting fireworks. Laugh my ass. <laughs> Finally, there's this tweet which sums up the consensus of black Twitter. It says, We are sad to announce that the queen has died. Followed by a picture of Princess Diana looking delighted and relieved. <laughs> But perhaps the most savage public comment comes from that name again, whose article is referenced above. And we already wrote that. It says, In the end, if she brought nothing to those of us who weren't her subjects or had our lives and countries ruined by her cursed family, at least today the queen brought us the kind of joy you can only experience while still being alive. Damn. Damn. But that's the sentiment. All right. Of someone who's in the right mind who sees through all the bullshit. Because all I heard for the last almost, day, well, might as well say day now, is, uh, Oh, it's so sad to hear and laying all these, you know, <laughs> well-to-dos to this, as the last commenter said, cursed family. All right? In its totality, when you understand, that's what, exactly what they are. The nation in itself is cursed. A cursed. All right? And that's the nation of Edom, who you refer to today as white people. And that didn't start until the late 1600s. There's nobody white and there's nobody black. It's a play on words. That's how they try to come off. And that's how they sucker you in by pretending by its definition to be non-threatening. You know. 
that kind of thing when you read the definition as opposed to they label us black all right I mean if you can't see that <laughs> then you really are stupid all right and this is what we have to live this is a it's a direct insult to call someone black there's not a nation of black all right and they get away with it and to the point where some of our own people supposedly educated have championed that shit all right even going back to the song with James Brown you know I'm black and I'm proud that bullshit you know our people have been the what's the word I'm looking for the amount of psychological damage to say nothing of the physical but the overall psychological damage is there is it is I should say no small miracle that we are here to this day and we owe it all you know to how about Shim Shah, you know that goes to uh, this scripture here um, we always bring this up uh, Malachi 3 and 6 but you gotta remember the end of that is my point it says for I am the most high Yahweh I change not despite those in Christianity saying otherwise no the most high never changed hmm, the law is still in effect Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. What does consumed mean? Let's, let's take a look at that. What does consumed mean? Let's just take a look at that word, consumed. To take in as food, eat or drink up, sending them to eat. All right. Let's go down here to dictionary.com if I can find it. Let's go to free dictionary first. Consume. Alright. To expend, use up, to waste, squander, to destroy totally, to ravage. Alright. And that's the point. Alright. That was a promise. Alright. Because it also says in the scripture that we deserve more than what we got. You got to consider that also. So there's still that mercy. Alright. Which is represented by the Lord. Yahweh Shah. Hey, so with that, yeah, I didn't want to take too long on this. Just as, you know, all this boo-hoo-hoo-hoo over this. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you know, she's gone. Good riddance. May the rest of them go the same way, you know. Actually, I take that back. May the rest of them die more horribly. All right. So with that, hey, shalom.